Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and welcome to my last day of my Juno & Co series. I am really excited to show you guys this tutorial using the Dreamer palette. Um, but before I get into this video, I have a couple of announcements. Because we are closing in on Christmas soon, I still have a lot of my holiday collection and my winter collections um, still available on my website, shopbeautybyjasmineyin.com. So I have here some individual press-on nails and then I have some more of my holiday bundles that are in these little goodie bags so everything ranging from holiday uh, accessories to just random holiday nails um, those are what is going to be contained in those little goodie bags um, but just to show you guys some of the designs that I had in stock still um, I have some that are really really cute and festive like I have this one called white Christmas um, these ones are a plain white nail with some gold Christmas decals. With my press-on nails, you do get a total of 24 individual nails, so 12 sizes per hand. So if you have larger nail beds or even shorter nail beds, then you'll definitely be able to find your size with this because I do have all of the sizes included. So I wanted to just let you guys know because I know Christmas is right around the corner. Um, and that's all I have for announcements right now. Thank you guys so much for listening to all that and let's go ahead and get started. To be honest, I am a little sick right now, so hopefully I could get through this entire video without any issues. But the Dreamer palette here was actually the first palette that I used from Juno & Co when they first launched their palette. And I feel like this is a pretty good blue palette, but I wanted to let you guys know that all of these shades here have somewhat of a satin finish. They're not completely matte, so this look is gonna be very snowflakey, very winter wonderland vibe. Vibes. Um, and then there's one glitter here as well. So in this video, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with a blending brush and the light blue shade. And I am going to casually just dust this all over my eye area. Even though this palette doesn't have any mattes, I do feel like all of the colors look really beautiful on the eyes. I just feel like when it comes to blue, this isn't my palette of choice because I like more matte blues than shimmery blues. In my collection in particular, I just feel like I have a lot of colored shimmer, so whenever I come across any mattes that are colored, I get really excited. So this one right here is a mediocre palette to me personally, like compared to everything in my collection, but I feel like it works really well still. This type of shade of blue isn't the most flattering, so we're gonna go ahead and deepen that up. We're gonna go into the shiny cobalt blue here, and we're gonna take that on an angled blending brush. And this is gonna go right into the crease. Now recently I've been really, really tired, and I have been taking care of myself. I've been trying to take care of my spiritual well-being as well as my physical well-being. And let me tell you, it's been really hard. I've been trying to focus on myself to be a better person, but also physically I'm drained. I am so, so tired all of the time, which is fine. I feel like this is the universe telling me to just stop working and to just relax and just slow down. So I'm trying to take it as a sign as best as I can. On a small pencil brush, I'm gonna take the slate gray and I'm going to go ahead and deepen up my outer corner a little bit more. Um, but instead of bringing it all the way in, I'm gonna go ahead and focus it down towards the lash line. Bring it up just a little bit and then just bring it onto my eyelid a little bit. And then with a little bit more of that cobalt blue shade, I'm gonna go ahead and go right on top of that sleek gray. And this is just going to just make the blue a little darker. It's not really going to shine through as gray anymore. It's just going to deepen up the color that we already have. I'm going to use the Margarita palette and I'm going to use these two shimmery highlights. Now this blue here isn't a full opaque blue, it's actually quite iridescent. It doesn't really pick up a whole bunch on the brush, but that's perfectly fine because we're going to take this and we're going to pop this onto 
that brow bone area, we're gonna drag this up high. And then flipping the brush to the other side, we're gonna take that cream highlight and we're gonna place this right in between where our brow hairs grow and that little blue iridescent shade. And it should highlight the brow bone just like that. I know, super crazy, but it's gonna come together. Now we're gonna take a small packing brush and the glitter, and this is where it gets tedious because we are working with glitter. We're gonna go ahead and pack this glitter onto the inner half of our eyelid. I think more than ever right now, I am really focusing on my spirituality because there's so much I feel like I can heal from. Like, I, I see my potential and it's hard. I have so much trauma in my life and so many things that I feel like I can achieve but I just feel as if there's like a physical block in my life that just hinders me from achieving the goals that I want to achieve and I really just want to help myself and it's hard, it really is. I'm going to create a blue wing liner with my Shop Masse Artista liner in the shade blue. I'm going to add more blue liner with the Marc Jacobs pencil in the shade Overnight. I'm going to drag this on my lower waterline all the way to the inner corner and then I'm also going to tightline my eyes with this color as well. With that dark blue I'm going to go ahead and just start blending but I just feel like I'm at the age where I'm so tired of having depression. I am so tired of feeling the way I feel. It, it's just frustrating. It's like, oh my god, like how could you let yourself have depression for like 13 years? Like how is it not gone yet? You know, you feel frustrated within yourself because you haven't moved on from this point in your life, but also you're just like, well, Depression is a form of mental illness. It's not going to go away in one day and you have to keep reminding yourself but that reminder just is irritating like I would do anything to just not be depressed anymore like it really does suck. I hate I hate depression. Um, I just wish I didn't have it at all. And the crazy thing is, is that I could tell myself affirmation after affirmation and I will believe it. Like I could tell myself and I could look at myself in the mirror and I could say I am beautiful and I know I am, but that doesn't, that doesn't change anything when I do. Like it's like, it's a really weird feeling because I could say like, yeah, today is going to be a really good day today and I could believe it. But I like deep down, I just know like I, I have a weird feeling that like I'm not destined to be happy. Like it, it's so weird. It's really weird. Talking about mental health is so tough because everyone handles it differently. Everyone has their own path and their own battles that they have to do. And as much advice as I could take or as much time that I need to heal, sometimes I feel like it's not enough for me personally. And there are some days where I feel like I just want to stop and quit it all. But a part of me also wants to see like what the future has. And I think that's like the hardest thing ever. By the way, these lashes are from Elegante and they're the style XVI. Recently, I found my birth chart. It answered so many questions <laughs> about myself, but also I realized how big of a mess I actually was. Um, so my entire chart, um, so I am an Aries and I have a Virgo moon as well as a Virgo rising and my entire chart is either fire signs or water signs. That's it. I have no other signs to ground me aside from my Virgo moon and rising and it has literally opened my eyes to just the way that I feel and the way that I react and probably the reason why I feel like my life is a constant dilemma and that I never have my shit together. I've always said to myself when I was younger, 
I can't wait to grow older so I won't have these problems anymore and that I could finally be happy. Now that I'm older, you know, I still deal with depression. That's not anything new. Like, good job, Jasmine. But I feel like I delay and extend these feelings because I always think that because I'm older or one day when I do get older, I can miraculously just solve these problems that I've had. And I'm definitely the person who never talks to anybody about my problems. I bottle them up because I don't want anyone to feel burdened with what I have going on because I got, I got a lot. I got, I got a lot going on, okay? And I think it's just crazy because I think about it now and I think, oh my god. Like, am I even growing as a person or am I just growing old? I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this makeup look. I bought the lipstick that's been on my wish list for so long. I got the Juvia's Place Lady Lipstick. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with ColourPop Curvy. I've wanted this lipstick for so long. And you know what? I love this color. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I think I'm just gonna style my hair while I'm on camera. I had my hair in like a little bun former to hopefully curl it a little bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I had this in my hair, hopefully to give me some curtain bangs, a little bit, something. I bought these earrings from TJ Maxx the other day. It's called Arm Candy and it's by the brand Eye Candy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And just like that, you guys, you're completed with this video. Thank you guys so much for taking time to just listen and just for staying tuned with this entire series. I know five days seems like a long time. And I just wanted to just say thank you for all of the support. I have been going through it. <laughs> I don't share my entire life on the internet and I know a lot of you guys understand that. But sometimes there are times where I feel like I need to say things like this publicly to get it off my chest and to hopefully move on. Um, so thank you guys again for listening. Um, I am doing my best to improve on myself physically, mentally, spiritually emotionally what else can I even think of that I want to improve like everything I guess I'm just gonna wrap it up here thank you guys again for watching thank you guys for supporting this series and for making it super super special as always um, I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video bye peace out Girl Scouts